Disaster preparedness is a combination of attitude, equipment, supplies, skills, and planning. Not all skills can be maintained in your mind due to the scope of subjects and depth of skills. Having a reference and training manuals in a library is a key module of preparedness. Library storage technology include DVDs, books, YouTube videos, maps, manuals, and the necessary devices to access them, such as a DVD player and the necessary electrical power to run that from a battery bank. Save all of your equipment manuals. Have them readily accessible to any equipment that can be used during a disaster situation. Have maps of your local area, state, nation, and world. Have medical first aid DVD training material. I highly recommend basic first aid training, blunt force trauma first aid, knife wound first aid, and gunshot wound first aid by the American Safety Company with John Clout. Some of the medical books which are absolutely essential to have on hand include at least four. One, the doctor's book of home remedies, quick fixes, clever techniques, and uncommon cures to get you feeling better fast. Many of the remedies in this book are old school. They existed before modern medicine. And many of the remedies in this book are cutting edge medical research. It's a great book to have on hand. Another book is the Outdoor Medical Emergency Handbook, First Aid for Travelers, Backpackers, and Adventurers. This is a Canadian book. I found it when I was up in Canada at an outdoor store. And I almost passed the book by, but I picked it up and as I flipped through it, I realized it was so rich in knowledge that it basically justified my entire trip to go to Canada to get this book. It's just an outstanding book. Have, search this down and, and obtain it. You can get it from Amazon. The third book, which is very popular in the preparedness community, is the Ultimate Survival Medicine Guide, Emergency Preparedness for Any Disaster. This is a book that's well worth reading and studying. The fourth book I'd recommend, among many more, but these are the four most essential, I'd say, medical books, is Armageddon Medicine, How to Be Your Own Doctor in 2012 and Beyond, an Instructional Manual. This book is a little expensive, but you'll find that it is worth every penny that it cost. It is just chock full of information that you can use. Have gardening DVDs. Have gardening books. Have internet resources saved down that you found useful in calmer times. Have general survival books. Three that I would recommend include one, Survive the Coming Nuclear War, How to Do It. This is an older book, but it can still be found on Amazon. And if you can survive a nuclear war, well, you can handle just about anything that will be thrown at you. The second book is Surviving the economic collapse. The author of this is Fearful, a young Argentinian who is very rational, very realistic, excellent writer, very careful thinker. And in this book he outlines his experiences during the Argentine financial collapse. The LDS Preparedness Manual, I've talked about that, that is excellent. There are many bushcraft survival books, 
and they are excellent and their teachers are excellent. The one that I'm uh, particularly uh, relate to and enjoy is Hawk's Special Forces Survival Handbook, the portable guide to getting out alive. Mikhail Hawk is a former Green Beret. It doesn't get any better than that. He's had very formal training. He's an excellent teacher. It's a great book. Another one is the Boy Scouts of American Field Book. Now I would get an older edition for this, but if you get one from the 60s or 70s or even before, they're just excellent in all the material that they cover. Ensure you have uh, books and material for your own personal education and entertainment. Have your own personal uh, religious material available. And interesting enough, have a blank book for notes, drawing, and journaling. If you look at journals that were written in the 1800s by uh, the pioneers in America, they're full of useful information. I think likewise, if you keep a journal and do drawings and have notes, you may find that very valuable material during the disaster and certainly post-disaster. Be prepared.